Hello, everyone. This lesson introduces how to use CC to deploy a workload that uses MySQL. We will use WordPress as an example. WordPress is a content management system based on PHP and MySQL. First, log into the CC console and make sure that a cluster is available and that the cluster nodes are available and bound to an EIP. Then we need to go to Chart Market which provides Kubernetes Helm charts. Click install for MYSQL and DB. Enter a workload name. For example, MYSQL. Set the chart version and select the cluster you created. In the description text box, enter MYSQL. For the database name, database username, login password, and administrator password. We can keep the default settings. Click install at one click. And then click submit. Wait for a few seconds until the execution status becomes successful. You can then start creating the WordPress workload. Which will use the MYSQL database you just created. In the navigation pane. Choose workload and then deployments. In the workload name text box. Enter WordPress or another name of your choice. Set instances to one. And click next. Click Add Container on the official Docker Hub Image tab page. Select WordPress. Set image version to the latest version of WordPress and retain the default values for other parameters. Next. We need to know how to connect WordPress to AMYSQL. Go to the SWR service. In the navigation pane, choose Image Resource and then Docker Images. The WordPress image details page provides a guide to use this image. We can see that it uses three environment variables to connect to AMYSQL. WordPress DB host. WordPress DB user. WordPress DB password. Then we go back to the CC console and add the three environment variables for the WordPress container workload. WordPress DB host indicates the IP address and port number of the MYSQL database. To obtain the IP address and port number, we need to go to the template instances page. Click view access mode for the MYSQL template instance you just created. Copy the access address and paste it here. Then add WordPress DB user, which indicates the MYSQL admin user. The default value is root. Then add WordPress DB password, which is the admin user password. The default value is also root. Click next. We now need to add a service. Here we set access mode to external access and access type to EIP. Set the container port number to 80. Click OK and then click next. Click create. Go back to the workload list. You can see that the WordPress workload is created successfully. Click refresh. Now the workload status is running. Click the external access address. You can see that the WordPress website is created successfully and can be accessed. Okay. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you.